Hi, this is Mr. Berry from Columbia University. I invited Shubhan Vajak Berry to solve physics exam one. Let's get it started. All right. Which pair of quantities are both scalars? So we've got vector, vector. Uh, this is a scalar, but this is a vector. This is a scalar, but this is a vector. This is a scalar, and this is a scalar, which means this is the answer. All right. Move to the next. A motorcyclist initially traveling east at 15 meters per second accelerates uniformly at a rate of 3 meters per second squared east to a velocity of 21 meters per second east. How fast does the motorcyclist travel? Of how far does the motorcyclist travel while accelerating? So first, we have to figure out what equation to use, which is the distance traveled while accelerating, the initial velocity times time. Can you directly use vf squared is equal to vi squared plus 280? That's another way to do it. Yeah, but let's do that one faster. Erase everything from the top. Okay, so the equation we can use here is vf squared equals vi squared plus 2ad. And so vf squared is, of course, 21 squared, which makes 441. vi squared is, of course, 15 squared, which makes 225. To a, a is 3, so 6, and then the distance traveled is the variable we're solving for. So d is equal to 441 minus 225 divided by 6, which is equal to 216 divided by 6, which is 36 meters. Which makes the answer 2. Order of magnitude for the measurement 8,000 meters. Well, writing it in scientific notation first, this is 8 times 10 to the 3. And you'll notice that 8 is greater than 3.6. Uh, don't is... write 3.6, baby. Write the square root of 10. 8 is greater than the square root of 10, because obviously it's the square root of 64. And this is 10 to the 0 0.5, which means we're rounding up. Since this is greater than 10 to the 3.5, we round up to 4. I want to show you how to solve this one different way. So... You always gonna write a times 10 raised to b, right? Scientific notation. If a is bigger than the square root of 10, then b plus 1. If a is smaller than the square root of 10, then b plus 0. Okay, now 8000 is 8 times 10 raised to 3. Now let's see. A is, of course, bigger than the square root of 10. Because the square root of 10 is 3.16. So then we have b, which is 3, plus 1, which is 4. So the answer is 4. All right, what's the order of magnitude for the measurement 0. 0. 0.0008? Writing it in scientific notation again, that's 8. We're going to erase the previous one. So oh then my gosh. Okay, writing this in scientific notation again, this gives us 8 times 10 to the negative 4. But... We don't just put negative 4 because, of course, this is greater than rad 10, which means this is greater than 10 to the minus 3.5, which means we round up to minus 3. A times 10 raised to b. If a is greater than the square root of 10, then b plus 1. If a is less than the square root of 10, then b plus 0. Now, here you have 8 times 10 raised to negative 4. Of course, 8 is uh, more than the uh, square root of 10. So we're going to write b is negative 4 plus 1, which is negative 3. So answer is negative 3. Graph best represents the motion of an object traveling at constant positive velocity. Well, since it's constant, you can see in this graph the slope is clearly increasing. And in this one, the slope is decreasing. So that's not constant. And this one, even though it is constant, it's going down, which means that would be negative velocity. So we got to cross that off, and this is the only one left standing. So for number six, at the bottom of, uh, you, you got, got to close, close this, and then move it. Oh, it's only this. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of a hill, a car has an initial velocity of 16 meters per second. The car is uniformly accelerated for minus 2.2 meters per second squared for five seconds as it moves up the hill. How far does it travel? Now, vf squared plus uh, equals vi squared plus 2ad is inefficient when it comes to this problem because we don't actually know 
we don't actually know the final velocity. And of course, we can find it, but that's too inefficient. So instead, we use d equals vit plus half a t squared. And so we're trying to find the distance directly. So that's equal to vi, which the initial velocity, 16. What's the time? 5 seconds. Plus half, what's the acceleration? Minus 2.2. And what's the time again? Well, it's 5 seconds squared, which makes 25. So we have 1.1 times 25, negative, and 16 times 5 is, of course, just 80. Oh, I don't know why I put 2.5, sorry. And now this adds up to, of course, 27.5. So what's 80 minus 27.5? Well, it's just 52.5, which is our answer. And for number seven, the height of an individual, well, this one is just estimating. So two times 10 to the zero meters is obviously two meters, which is like this tall. And of course, I, I don't think you've seen a staircase as tall as me. So, I mean, I don't think you've ever seen one step of a staircase as tall as me. So this gets crossed off. Wait, no, sorry. I'm stupid. Yeah, this gets crossed off. 2 times 10 to the 1 meters, that's 20 meters. That's like the height of a house. So that can't be it either. 2 times 10 to the negative 1 meters, that's 0.2 meters, which is about this tall. So while it's pretty tall for a staircase, I think that's okay. 0.2 meters is how many centimeters? Well, it's exactly 20 centimeters. And how many inches? What? 20 centimeters divided by 2.54. Dad, we don't have to do that. Oh, well, they can think those things in here. Dad, sure, sure. they know what a meter is. No, no. Let's, whenever you go, can go a centimeter, do a centimeter. Okay. Uh, and 2 times 10 to the minus 2, that's way too small. That's just that's two, point oh, two meters, which is 2 centimeters, which is like uh, about this size. So that's way too small for a staircase. That's more like a ramp. So that means that the answer is, of course, just okay. number two. Okay, the height of a typical kitchen table is approximately 10 to the minus 2 meters. What is that? Well, that's... Okay. Dad, you don't have to tell me. Okay. That makes me look bad, please. Okay. 10 to the minus 2 meters, that's 1 centimeter, which is about this size. Uh, not a very big kitchen table. 10 to the 0 meters is about this tall. So, okay, that's fine. So, we'll come back to that. 10 to the 1 meter is like the size of one floor, so pretty big for a table. 10 to the 2 meters is like the size of the entire Brooklyn Tech building. So that's, of course, not allowed. So it's 10 to the 0. 9. The graph represents the relationship between velocity and time of a moving body in a straight line. The shaded area under the line represents the toy cars. And this is pretty simple. What's velocity times time? It's just distance or displacement since we're doing velocity, not speed. So the approximate height of a high school physics student is... No, it is all those things. Now, of course, this says approximate, so it's not going to be exact, but 10 to the 1 meter would already make you twice the, to uh, twice the height of the tallest man ever known. Uh, Who was the tallest man ever known? Robert Wadlow. You even know him. Uh, 10 squared meters, as I said before, that's the height of the entire Brooklyn Tech building. Way too outlandish. 3, 10 to the 0 meters. Well, that's a bit short. It's about the normal height of a human. So we, we'll go with that. And 10 to the minus 2 meters is just this size. I'm actually 1.7 one, one uh, 1 .7 meters. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I'm about one and a half meters. Okay. Uh, the mass of a paper uh, clip. We erase everything. The mass of a paper clip is approximately. Can one. you put everything in terms of grams? Okay. So let's do it in terms of grams since that's more familiar. So this is 10 to the minus 3 grams. Obviously, way too small. small uh, way smaller. It's 1,000 of a single gram. So. 
way too small, of course. 10 to the minus 3 is 1 gram, which is okay. 1 times 10 to the 3 is 1 million grams. Or in other words, about the size of your, uh, about the mass of your average commercial airliner. So probably not the mass of a paperclip. And 1 times 10 to the 6 is probably the mass of, I don't know, of the Empire State Building. So not really a paperclip either. And 12, what's the approximate length of it? What's the approximate length of a baseball bat? 10, 10 to the 2 meters, that's obviously way too tall. Height of Brooklyn Tech. 10 to the 1 meter is like the height of a single story, way too tall. 10 to the 0 meters is pretty long for a baseball bat, but it might be okay, as long as you're strong. And 10 to the minus 1 is super small. You couldn't... Uh, the baseball is about 10 to the minus 1 meters in diameter. So, the length of a football field is closest to centimeter, kilometer, decimeter, and millimeter. Now, if you look at your reference table, you'll figure out that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 to the minus 2 meters, 1 kilometer is equal to 10 to the 3 meters, 1 decimeter is 10 to the minus 1 meters, and one millimeter you don't have to go that far is equal to 10 to the minus three meter so now all of these say 1000 which is 10 to the three right so let's just multiply 10 to the three by all of these oh sorry that's not the space. so what's 10 to the minus two meters times uh oh sorry what's 10 to the minus two let's go to the right choice you don't have much time okay Go to the decimeters. Okay. 10 to the minus 2 times 10 to the 3 is 10 to the 1. That's 10 meters. Definitely not enough. 1,000 kilometers is way too big. That's a million meters. That's like a whole marathon. 1,000 decimeters is 1,000 times 1 over 10, which is 100, which makes it the right choice. And 1,000 millimeters is just 1 meter, which is about two steps. So way too small for a football field. You also can do uh, kangaroo help dog because dog can't multiply. So this is kilometer, this is hectometer, this is decameter, this is base, this is decimeter, this is centimeter, this is millimeter, right? This is one, this is one meter, right? This is uh, 10 meter, this is 100 meter, this is 1000 meter, uh, and this is 0.1 meter. We can stop here, right? Because we need this one. So our answer is, I just said this one, so 1000. Uh, 1,000, what? 1,000 decimeter, 1,000 decimeter times, we want answer in meter. One meter is uh, 10 decimeter, right? Um, okay, so zero, zero cancel, decimeter, decimeter cancel, so it's just 100 meter. Okay, the length of a dollar bill is approximately 1.5 times 10 to the minus 2. That's about, okay, so this right here is a dollar bill. So 1.5 times 10 to the minus 2, what length is that? It's 1.5 centimeters, which is about this length. It's way too small for a dollar bill. It makes it reasonable but that 10 times that length is equal to the length of a dollar bill. 1.5 times 10 to the 1 would make the dollar bill about as tall as me. So definitely not that. And this would be like the height of the Brooklyn Tech. No. Yeah, the height of the Brooklyn Tech building. So way too big for a dollar so bill. So one is 1.5 centimeter and two is 15 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So okay. you think dollar bill is 15 centimeter? Yes. Show again. It's 15 centimeter. Okay. What's the approximate mass of an automobile or car? Well, 10 to the 1 kilograms, way too small. That's like half of my weight, or one third of my weight actually. 100 kilograms, Just that's... Like me? No, that's not. That's like an overweight person, so still not that good. 10 to the 3 kilograms is pretty good, 1,000 kilograms. 10 to the 6 is like a commercial airliner, so we can't go with that. The diameter of an automobile tire is closest to 10 to the minus 2. That's about 1 centimeter, so, uh, so I mean, obviously, that would make your car tire as small as this. Your car's not a Hot Wheels. Uh, 2, 10 to the 0 meters, that's, I know, oh yeah, ten, 1 meter, that's 
pretty big for a car tire, but if you're riding in an especially big car, like a truck, it might be okay. 10 to the 1 meter, that's way too big. That's like the height of the biggest trucks. And 10 to the 2 meters is, well, you know. So it's 10 to the 0 meters. It is everything. All right. What is the most likely mass of a high school student? 2,500 kilograms, that would kill someone. 600 kilograms, they probably couldn't make it through the halls. Uh, and 10 kilograms is way too small. That's like the size of a sixth grader. So we have 50 kilograms is our final answer. What's the approximate mass of a pencil? Well, it's about oh, oh, anywhere from 5 to 10 grams. So let's see. What are our choices? 5 kilograms, that's 5,000 grams. Echno, that's like the size of a moderately big luggage. Uh, 5 times 10 to the 1, that's like, I mean, way too big. That's the size of your average high school student. 5 times 10 to the minus 1 kilograms is pretty small, but not that small. It's like the mass of this wallet. 500 grams. Yeah, but not small enough. So 5 grams is going to be our answer. Find the order of magnitude of one light year. Well, it is a you can find in your reference table that light travels at approximately 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Can you but, show them the equation to use? Yeah, I'll show them. 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. But we're trying to figure out how long one light year is in meters. So what we have to do is multiply this by seconds per year. Well, how many seconds are there in a year? Well, uh, there are... Three times seven is seven. There are 60 seconds in one minute. There are 60 minutes in one hour. There are 24 hours in one day. And there are 365 days in a year. Obviously, I can't calculate all of this, so we use order of magnitude approximation. This gets rounded to 10 to the 2. Uh, don't, don't need to write... And this two. This two. What, uh, what? No, it makes it easy. This gets rounded to 10 to the 2. This gets rounded to 10 to the 1. And this gets rounded to 10 to the 3. So we get 10 to the 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. So we get 3 times 10 to the... Oh, yeah. 3 times 10 to the 8 times 10 to the 8 is just 3 times 10 to the 16. But 3 is, is less, less than, than rad 10, point. right? So that gives us 10 to the 16 is our answer, so it's 16. There is other way of doing it, but that's it. Find the displacement of the car to the right. My student always having a hard time. Which direction car is going? How do they, how are they supposed to know which direction car is going? Expense? Well, here it says VI. That means initial. Here it says VF. That says final. So that means that this is the initial position and this is the final position. How are they supposed to know which direction car is moving? Well, it's going from the initial position to the final position. Because this is the beginning and this is the end. So, finding the displacement, it can only ever be a negative number. And so, what is it? Well, it's... Fast find the acceleration. Perhaps. Okay. Uh, the acceleration is equal to uh, the change in velocity over time, which is 60... Not... Okay, yes, right. it is. Negative no, you are teaching them. It's negative 60 meters per second change divided by 1 minute is 60 seconds, which makes it minus 1 meters per second squared. And so, what is minus 1 meters per second squared? Well, we put that into Vs squared. Wait, no, that's not the most efficient one. Yes, I know. Vi is, of course, 20. Well, minus 20. Time is 1 minute or 60 seconds. Plus half A is minus 1. So minus 1 half and T squared is 60 squared. So that gives us minus 20 times 60 plus, uh, wait, minus 20 times 60 minus 30 times 60. All right, and what is that? Well, it's minus 50 times 60, which is minus 3,000. Makes the answer 2.